I had a spinal cord injury um, back in 2016, actually on my last day of high school. I was at a friend's house and we were swimming in a pool and I was diving into the pool. I dove into it a few times that day. And the last time I ended up diving out, it proved to be a little too shallow. I may have dove a little too far and I ended up hitting my head at the bottom of the pool and became fully paralyzed. I felt the shock go through my body and I just felt everything go numb. And my first thought was, okay, something's definitely seriously wrong. Then my next one was, does anyone know anything's wrong? Because then I'm floating at the bottom of the pool. Um, and so luckily I hadn't drowned too much before my friends noticed and they were able to jump in and pull me out. I'm classified as a C6 spinal cord injury, a complete spinal cord injury. So I broke the six vertebrae in my cervical spine. And so I'm a quadriplegic or tetraplegic, I think they say now. And immediately I was completely paralyzed. I could move my head a little bit and like maybe move my shoulders a little bit. Immediately I couldn't move anything. I do remember them coming in and, you know, explaining the situation where they're like, hey, you have a complete injury. Generally, we don't see a lot of recovery from this injury. I was pretty well aware that I was going to most likely live my life in a wheelchair and most likely not be able to move my hands at all. I didn't even know, but apparently initially after my injury, the surgeon that performed the initial surgery on me told my mom that I was lucky to be alive with the amount of trauma that I sustained in my neck. So come a long way. So I first learned about the OPC1 trial um, when I was very early on in my injury. We had a lot of questions, a lot of uncertainties, and my mom received a phone call from one of the doctors involved in the trial, and he pretty much explained everything, and pretty much he laid everything out and said, okay, they do this cell therapy. Um, it could be beneficial for you. But also, you know, we're still doing a clinical trial. We're not quite sure how the results are going to go. So we had to quickly decide whether or not we were going to enroll in it. And for us, it was a pretty easy decision. I mean, if there was any opportunity to receive benefit from it or to benefit others in the future, it seemed low risk enough to go forward with it. That was part of the phase two of the trial. And so they're like, hey, use it before. We think it's or we think it's safe, and so we're looking for some sort of therapeutic gain. And so I just talked to my parents about it, and they were supportive of anything I wanted to do. And I decided to go for it because I mean I didn't have much to lose at that point. So the cell therapies, it's it's a one-time surgery where they go in and they implant these OPC1 cells directly into your spinal cord with the hope that they learn from the surrounding cells and neurons and they adapt and they become functioning neurons that help rebuild your spinal cord and help you regain those signals and help you with recovery. Participation in the trial wasn't very difficult on my end. I luckily was able to just go through my daily activities, going through therapy, the main thing they wanted is for me to try and maximize my recovery, which was the same thing I wanted to do. So my recovery from the point of the trial until now has been immense, a lot more than I would have expected. So if I had the chance to go back and do it again, I 100% would. You don't expect to see any recovery from the point of your neurological function. So for me being C6, the most recovery I should expect to see is being able to bend at the arm here, initiating the biceps, and then some wrist extension. For me, I have been able to do some wrist flexion, I have some tricep strength, and I'm actually even able to wiggle a finger a little bit. And it doesn't look like much, but it's very functional. Um, I do majority of things with my right hand, being able to pick up objects and things like that. So just in terms of neurological return, I, I regained more than what was expected. And that's not even including the amount of functional return I had where I'm able to do different tasks than I ever thought I'd be able to do. So my ability to like move this one little finger and there's no strength behind it even, uh, is huge. I mean, for me, if you look at my left hand, 
it's a lot more clenched up and there's no movement. So being able to pick up an object is really difficult. I have to try and position my hand in a certain way and try to move it around and wrap it around the object. Whereas this one's pretty open and you see when I move it, like the other fingers even move a little bit. So I'm able to do a lot more with dexterity and picking up smaller objects. So I find myself using my right hand to pick up everything and do a lot of things that require more dexterity in the hands. So it's very important to me. I was always left-handed. And so I still find myself using my left hand for certain things like eating, writing. I'll use my left hand. I'll just kind of wedge it in here like this. Um, but in order to grab it, if I try to use my left hand, it'll take me, you know, significantly longer in order to pick it up, whereas I'll just grab it with my right and then transfer it over to my left. So I find myself doing that a lot, that I surprise myself with a lot of things, but I've found that as I practice things and keep doing them, I get better at them. So I started trying to cook little things here and there and, you know, just do activities of daily living like I've been taught since, since going through therapy.